Wondering why I'm in this fancy get up? Well, today we are going back to beauty science school. What we're going to do is very reminiscent of your science classes in high school. We're going to be doing a litmus paper test. The purpose of this test is to have a look at some of the soaps that you're using on your face and on your body and see how alkaline and how acidic they really are for your skin. So what I have here is a litmus scale. pH 1, the red one, is the most acidic. pH 11, the blue purple one, is the most alkaline. And number 7 is neutral, which is what water should be. I also have some litmus paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in a few things, some water, some washing detergent and I'm going to lather up a few soaps and put the litmus paper on the soap so you can see just how acidic, alkaline or how neutral and gentle they are for your skin. First up we're going to test it on water. Now water is supposed to be pH neutral which is number seven so when I dip this yellow litmus paper in it should turn the color of number seven. So it just takes a little while for it to develop. So as you can see it's already changing color and if you measure it up it's pretty much exactly on number seven. Next I'm going to show you um, the pH level of a washing detergent. Now these are generally very alkaline so it should be showing up somewhere on this side of the spectrum and given that it is washing detergent this is not something you'd want to put on your skin so obviously anything that comes up along here definitely not good for your skin. As you can see this one is quite immediate um, it goes almost instantly quite dark bluey purple um, what I might do is wipe off a bit of that excess product and then you can really see where it sits on the scale um, it is very alkaline I'm now going to do the same litmus test on a few well-known um, soap brands that you get in the supermarket. These are soaps that you would use on your face and on your body. So I'm just going to lather up a bit and then put the litmus paper. And as you can see, this one Again, has come up instantly um, quite alkaline so probably on number nine um, not too far gone from the detergent um, which is a little bit of a worry because as I said before you wouldn't use detergent on your skin so again as you can see um, with that one as well a little bit lighter um, that's number eight on the litmus so still more to the alkaline scale finally um, we have the Dove Beauty Bar now as you can see as opposed to the other soaps which again I'll stress are marketed for your face and your body this one doesn't change color straight away the other ones went instantly bluey green and as you can see here the Dove Beauty Bar is looking very similar to pH neutral so it's sitting at the moment between I'd say a 6 and a 7 um, and remember that water was neutral and that was a 7. In terms of benefits for your skin you know that the Dove Beauty Bar isn't too acidic it's not too alkaline, it's pH neutral, it's like putting water on but with all the benefits of a proper skin cleanser that also nourishes your skin without stripping its oils. So you've seen it for yourselves beauties, I mean science doesn't lie.